In this video, I will be responding to a comment that I received on a video that I made about building a hand railing for a winder stairway, where the individual suggested that some of the cuts would be difficult or impossible to make. And when using certain materials, this individual will be correct. However, these cuts will not be impossible to make with round hand railing. So in the first section of the video, let's go ahead and take a look at what the viewer is referring to. And to get started, I would like to point out that these are the lines of the hand railing and the same angles in the video and I will put a link to that video in the video description or comment area and even though these are different angles the other angles for this cube are all going to be 90 degrees and we will be using a shaped railing board so let's go ahead and rotate all of the boards that we need here at the correct angle that we're going to be using and I will be lining up the bottom corner of our shaped railing with the two different 90 degree planes or two different sides there and if we go ahead and take a little tour through here you can see where these miters right here are not going to be difficult and even though I won't be providing you with the construction methods necessary to assemble something like this or to cut all the parts I will be glad to make another video if I get enough viewers. So let's just say that there are at least 50 comments from viewers on how to figure out the angles to assemble something like this. And of course, this is what the individual is talking about here. You can see where this particular miter isn't going to work without doing some type of shaping. And of course, maybe if you're a master wood carver, you might be able to make this thing work. However, I'm not about to suggest that it would be impossible. And the miter here wouldn't be that much more difficult than the similar one above the first one that we went over. So this cut right here, this cut right here, no problem. This one right here, going to take a little more explaining. And of course, this is the reason I'm guessing that the individual suggested that these cuts would be difficult or impossible to make. However, that is not going to be the case if we're going to use round lumber for our hand railing. So again, you can see here where we have the plane. And of course, this is not an airplane. It is a P-L-A-N-E plane, a flat surface. And we're going to go ahead and line up the flat surface on each side with a certain part of the hand railing or the round boards. And that is going to be a line that we're going to draw through the round boards and then kind of crisscross down here to get a center point. So we're going to be lining this point up here and this point or the line that we made on the top of our round hand railing boards. And you can see here that this particular joint is going to look a little bit better and even be a little easier to shape when using the round lumber for our handrail. And for those of you who have noticed, the center of this board right here does not line up with the center of this one, suggesting that in order to make this cut, we are going to need to use two angles. Even though I've already built this handrail making a single angle cut here, however, the handrailing will no longer be parallel with the wall if you make the one single miter cut. However, it would still work for most building codes. So again, you can see here where the upper one is going to work. No problem here, no problem here. However, this cut right here isn't going to be as easy. So again, if you're interested in more stuff like this, let us know. If not, then I won't worry about making another video.